Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you guys have a forward focus guys and you're experiencing okay front end rattles, okay when you go under bump you hear something, a quank sound, something, a noise coming from the suspension guys. We will explain what is the most common reason for that. And this is guys due okay to a bad sway burning. In today's video guys we will show you how to replace that. In the meantime guys we'll have more than 200 videos on this car so please subscribe guys that uh, our mission guys to save you as much money as we can so all we need in return subscribe to the channel like the video and drop a comment below guys with your recommendations what you like what you don't so this is the Ford Focus guys and we experience uh, um, the rattling quanking sound when we go through little bumps or big potholes and uh, this guys is due to a bad sway burning this is the sway burning that's what what it is now this is super simple to replace, usually it has only two nuts and this one guys is the one that puts tension on your sway bar okay, this is your sway bar right there and it connects from the strut okay, all the way to the sway bar now if that thing is bad they develop a play here and that play guys, okay you're going to hear it as a, as a bad noise inside the cabin when they go bad so we need a 15 millimeter wrench guys okay we'll start removing the nut okay but it will start spinning so when it starts spinning we need a 5 millimeter allen wrench we'll go right there okay and hold the bolt and start removing the nut okay in our case we can even use the wrench we have the ratcheting wrench on the other side it will be a little bit faster that way we don't need to pull it in and out all the time Okay, you can see what I'm talking about in just a second. It'll be way, way more convenient. Okay, perfect. This one, guys, is coming out. Now, we need to get a sway... Uh, we need to get a pry bar okay and we will need to bring it down okay we will need to bring that uh, sway bar down so we can release the pressure of the sway bar here before we remove the second nut because otherwise that thing can shoot and smash our fingers so that's what we'll be doing next we're in the process of getting a, some kind of pry bar okay and you will see what we need to do now okay when you bring it down Okay, it's okay, perfect. When you bring it down enough, it's going to come loose, then you can come to the top. Okay, now we don't have any pressure from the sway bar, so now we can go ahead and remove the bottom nut, guys, the same way we remove the top one. Now, the cool thing about those actually, there is a place where you can hold them with a wrench on the back side if you want to. So we don't even need to use an oven wrench. So we just start taking this one off. Okay, it's almost there now. Okay, let's see if we have uh, quite a bit more. No, actually the nut will come out now. And you can grab the sway bar, link, okay, and pull it out. Now, ours guys, okay, why that clunking sound was coming, okay, that's why guys. Check it out, it's completely wore out here, it has lots of play, it has sand, the seal broke, and as a result it wore out guys, and uh, you're going to hear quite a bit of suspension noise coming from that loose thing. So we get the new one now, remove the nuts, 
and pretty much install it guys in reverse order that we uh, we took the other one apart okay so push it in there okay we're going to get it tight on the bottom and then we're going to okay do the top one after that so all we have to do now get this okay get this nut tight The new ones are a little bit stiffer, so you may not even hold them with an Allen wrench because they're way tighter than the old ones that are already wore out. So having the ratcheting wrench is very convenient guys. Also, uh, all the tools and parts that we use guys will be listed in the description of the video below guys for your convenience. So please check this thing out. Okay, getting this one tight now. Next guys, okay, I'm going to get the pry bar. Okay, let me see if I have good grip on it. Okay, I'm going to bring it down. Okay, one second because I'm pushing it with the Okay, we need to bring that bolt actually up a little bit. We need to adjust it. Okay, perfect. Now we need to install our uh, ABS cable holder here. We install that nut now, get it tight. And once we get it tight guys, we'll be pretty much ready to go. All you have to need is uh, to install your wheel. Okay, let the car down, get everything tight, recheck everything one more time. And this one will be guys the whole procedure. So hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time.